the common tree frog. Everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you also love jumping in puddles when it rains, Hero? <laughs> Let's see who can make the biggest splash. It's a frog. This frog sounds like a duck. And it has lines on its back. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mr. Frog. Hi, Katie. Are you there? We found a strange frog in the garden. It has lines on its back. Hi, Leo. What an interesting looking frog. Can you find more information about it? Leave it to me. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. The frog you found is a common tree frog, but it's also known as a four-lined tree frog because some of these frogs have four long lines running down their backs, just like this one. The common tree frog lives in trees and spends most of its life hopping from branch to branch high in the treetops. I see, but how is the frog able to stay up in trees? The common tree frog has special sticky toes that help it hang onto branches and tree trunks. Like all frogs, common tree frogs are amphibians. Amphibians are animals that can live in water and on land. Common tree frogs spend the beginning of their lives in the water as tadpoles. Tadpoles are newborn baby frogs that hatch from eggs. When tadpoles grow into adults, they leave the water and live in trees. I see. So what kind of food do common tree frogs eat? They eat insects and worms. They can be found in all kinds of places with water and trees in different countries in Southeast Asia. Hmm. I think we should return the tree frog to its natural home, where it can find a lot more trees and food. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers! Ah, I see you've brought along a lively little friend with you today What's it doing, Ranger Rocky? It's so noisy! Now that it's rainy season, the frog must be looking for a mate. Common tree frogs usually breed during the rainy season. The one you found must be a male frog. Male frogs gather around still water and wait on the leaves of plants. As they do this, they call out to the females to attract them. Once the male finds a mate, the frogs breed and the female lays her eggs above the water. The eggs are laid in special foam nests, hung on leaves or twigs. During heavy rain, the tadpoles that hatch from the eggs are washed down into the water. That puddle looks too small for the frog to find a mate. If you want to find a better breeding ground for this tree frog, keep a lookout for a grassy place near still water. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. 
Here is a river surrounded by a lot of rocks. And on this side is a still stream with a lot of grass. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a river surrounded by a lot of rocks. And over there is a still stream with a lot of grass. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the still stream with a lot of grass because it's a safe place for the tree frogs to lay their eggs. Let's go! Yuck! There's rubbish everywhere! Look, Katie! Are those tadpoles in the mud? Those aren't tadpoles, Leo. They are mud skippers. Mud skippers are, well, a type of fish. Fish? Then why are they not in the water? That's because mud skippers can live on water and on land. While underwater, they breathe through gills like other fish. When the mud skippers are on land, they can breathe through their skin as long as they stay wet. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Wait, is the frog still on my hat, Katie? Oh, no! He's missing again! He must be somewhere around here. Hmm, we can't find the frog with so much litter around. We should clean up the place first. Good idea, Katie. I bet the mud skippers will be happy too if the litter is gone. Let's clean up the place and look for the tree frog together. tree frog and we've cleared away the litter. Great work everyone. <coughs> what should we look for now? Hello Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the tree frog's breeding ground, just look for leaves near a stream. Not for a happy tree or a bowl of whipped cream, but look for leaves near a stream. I see. So not for a happy dream, or a bowl of whipped cream, but, but look, look for, for leaves, leaves near a stream. stream. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the tree frog's breeding ground, you have to look for leaves near a stream. Good luck! <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the tree frog's breeding ground. Could this be the tree frog's breeding ground? <gasps> it's a snake! I don't think this is a safe place for the frog. Let's continue. What about this place? This is a toad's home. Let's look somewhere else. Is that the tree frog's breeding ground? The leaves are near the stream. This seems like a good place. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Wow! There are so many of them! We did it! We found the tree frog's breeding ground. Great job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found a common tree frog in our garden. We learned that common tree frogs live in trees and that male common tree frogs gather around still water where they use their loud calls to attract females. So we went to the forest and found it a nice spot near a stream. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Thank <laughs> you.